Welcome back, everybody, to what might potentially be the final chapter of the Atlantis saga. It was always the goal to build the Atlantean Empire. And all we've got left to do is to gain another 3,000 prestige, which is quite large in hindsight. We might not be able to pull it off with this guy. But if, it, if we're ever going to do it, this guy is almost certainly the one that we will. 22 years of age. Already starts with 2,000 prestige. 31 martial. Incredibly good leadership traits. If anybody's going to be able to do it, it's going to be Pontifex Maximus. Big kill. And thank God it was a character that I sensibly named Lydius into a glorious new realm. So... What I'm going to say then is the real challenge will come from, I think, the time lapse that follows up after this. Whether or not the Atlantean Empire survives will determine whether or not we win, inverted commas, this campaign. So I'm going to say we have up until we hit the 5,000 prestige to unify, build, do whatever we've got to do to ensure this round survives. But the second that option becomes available, we have to take it to act as a nice natural difficulty to 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 the finale here because we could just build up around as much as we like you know we could have the empire and we could sit there and, and map paint but i've never really liked map painting so i like the idea of adding a a a finite finishing point where we're gonna let the game take over and we'll see how well this empire that we've built survives so then what do we do well norway we might just be able to find some way to unify into our realm anyway because they're already our religion uh wouldn't be too difficult if we were able to get the empire of scandinavia say to bring them into the fold um i think that britain is still looking as a nice squishy round for us to take oh my god they took bloody dublin fuck we had a claim on there didn't we oh we didn't with this character okay that's all right then um i want to take the american confederacy in ireland before before Britain do. And then hopefully, to be honest, Britain is splinter right now. Have we got any cast a spell against them? Oh, we don't because they're too... Wait. Got a war for Sardinia? Why the fuck have we got a... What? Got a war for Sardinia and Corsica? Why have we got a holy war there, but not on... Uh, That's very strange. That's very strange. I don't understand that. Don't worry about it too much. Let's check regular Britannia as well. We, we just want to get in here and try and grab this as soon as we can. Um, oh, we can great holy war. Hang on a minute. Hang on a goddamn minute. Um, that'll be why then. And we can also Holy War for Flanders, but that's basically it. Why don't we wait for... Oh, God. But trying to fight the whole Catholic realm again is probably a bad idea. Can we Great Holy War Ireland? Can we take the whole... We could take the whole fucking thing. And the best part about this is they are evangelical. So no Catholics. No Germany, France, Britain, Union. No anyone, really. Just Algeria. What the fuck? Uh, just us versus america 6800 versus 12,000, led by this great man this is in the bag this this is ours right here we're gonna take it take ireland take britain unify it all atlantis is good let's do it team the mighty pontifex maxima big kill has decided it's time to teach emperor lou of the american confederation and the believers in the dead crucified god another lesson in humility because we've done a really good job of teaching the believers in the dead crucified god humility before persephone is with us for persephone let's do it uh first things first then Troops up, boats up. If anybody agrees to join the Holy War, let's not accept them until we know that we've got it in the bag that this is ours. Because there are some fairly significant realms within, uh, outside of our realm that are Hellenic. So they might end up fucking, like Norway, for example. I doubt Norway would be able to do that much damage, but Norway could potentially grab themselves some land if we're not careful. And we want to take it all for, uh, for, our, for our own land, obviously. And there's also a Catholic rebellion. Oh, in Sweden. Let's deal with that first, then. Let's go ahead and deal with this ship first. Then we'll go and deal with uh, deal with Ireland after that. Thankfully, my wife has taken my advice to heart and has decided to fuck off. Okay, good shit. Right, merge those guys together. Deal with this revolt first and foremost. Then Ireland should be a fairly easy conquest. We're not going to lose many troops doing this. That's the important thing. Bjorn of the Catholic Uprising, dead as dicks. 100%. Perfect. Done. Easy. Right. Back on the boats. We want to drop our boats as soon as possible as well because they're going to be so expensive. Oh, my God. Big kill the Siege Master. I don't think I've ever had that nickname before in CK2. That's quite cool. That should be an achievement to get every nickname in CK2. Come on, Paradox. Give us a real challenge. Uncouth. Ah, Downside to war focus for so long, unfortunately. But not really much of a surprise. Oh, they've sent troops to our capital. That makes our lives very, very easy. He's 23. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Now, bear in mind the chance to get matters of life and death is compounded by health conditions. And apparently stressed is enough to have caused that to fire. I don't know whether we'll survive. I don't know whether we'll be able to, to succeed in the event. And I don't know whether we'll survive the event as well. 
but I'm going to give it a go. If we could get ourselves an immortal big kill, that would be insane. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Let's give it a go. I threw away a lot of troops doing that. I shouldn't have done such a ridiculous never landing. A sun? An airy sun? I'm going to call you. Have we already got some in the... Right. Okay. What have we got in the list then? Japan. Oh my god, that one's a good one. Japan comes back for another name. I'll pull up my name system in a second after we've dealt with the war on Ireland and we'll uh, go ahead and retroactively rename some of the characters that I forgot to do yesterday. Right, get these guys as backup. We want to take every person we can here to help us out. How many troops they got left after we've after we smashed that then? Um, 1,900. I have a feeling we've probably got this one in the bag. Okay, big kill on the center. We'll go for Frodi and Valdemar. Um, we could summon some lodge commanders too, I guess. Get a couple of those guys in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let's go ahead and assess our council then, or our commander specifically. You are terrible. You're terrible as well. Right, that's a looking a little bit better already. So we've got Pyros and we have Sar Sarpedon. However you say that. 24 Marshall. 31, 30, 24. Fucking hell. I'm so sorry, my friends. And we've got Ares Zone as well. Don't forget. Does that automatically give it to our commanders too? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, it does. Wow, so we could swap out commanders. Uh, just to give everybody the bonus marshal. I'm not going to do that because it's a little bit scummy, but that's interesting. All right, let's do it then. Their capital falls. Shit, that's expensive. Um, send world to the whole world if needs be. We want to become immortal and we are going to pay every tiny little penny we can to do it. Um, oh, emulating a legend. We can emulate Capri Sun, our grandmother. Gain temperate, gain emulating a legend. Why would we not take that? It's free, vassal opinion, and a fairly decent trait as well. Granted, you can get bad traits from that, as we've seen in the past. Perfect solution. Do you want storage gold in exchange for the county of Lolland? I don't want that shit. Yeah, all yours. Boom. A fine deal, as far as I'm concerned. Um, send the boats back, because now we're in Ireland. I don't intend on leaving. And we've written the Codex Arcantos. Okay. What's Codex Arcantos do again? Um, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Uh... Go to hell to build a well. Give me the Codex Arcantos then. We might as well, just in case they hire a, a bunch of troops or something crazy like that. Because we're here to stay now. Fortnite our stars. That's fine. Minus 2% natural revolt risk, plus 5% tax modified. Don't need to push the stars or anything like that. Might as well kill those troops just lying around there as well. Goodbye. I'm not even going to try and say any of these names. I Irish names are impossible. Uh, especially when they've got that in them. Oh, fuck off. Yawn. Oh, wow. He had such a low chance to fail that. 25 Marshall. No Immortal. Pontifex Maximus Big Kill. And 700 gold down the shitter. Just just because, really. Um, just because we just happen to get very, very unlucky. Because the chance of him succeeding is obviously quite high. Because he's insanely good. 67%. Um, we haven't got to worry about doing anything else, right? We can just... County of Kinder has been converted to the Hellenic Faith. Excellent news. I'm not going to make the very, very obvious joke. I think I've made a thousand times there. Okay. Uh, all we've got to do then... A bit of casual sieging. I don't think we need to really worry about assaulting. Better mind, our guy's the siege master here. This is going to be over before the end of the year, I think. Gained kind. Kind is also pretty good. Now, we probably lost Roth, though, right? Do we not have Roth? Our marshal's still 33. It was 31 earlier, and obviously we gained Ares. That's fine. Wow. I thought we had Roth, so we were sacrificing Marshall for that, but no, that's absolutely a okay. And to be honest, having kind when we're getting quite an expansive empire filled with people who are not our religion, our culture, probably not a bad idea to make them like us a little bit more. And 95%. Who's this idiot? Uh, uh, seriously? This guy's declared war. This guy here. You've got to appreciate the balls on that. But unfortunately, um, unfortunately for you, my friend, you are on the fucking chopping block. How dare you? Done. The Holy Great Holy War for Ireland has ended. Pontifex Maximus Big Kill has won. Hades, of all people. Granted, Pontifex Maximus Big Kill. Victory in the Great Holy War. Praise Hades. Look at our round now. Glorious, incredible. He's still landed. What? Oh my god, because he's the leader of the American... Uh, whatever it's called. They are an unlanded ruler. I wonder if, like, the Aztecs now, their turtle will be destroyed because we've chucked them back into the Atlantic. I have no idea. Um, all right, then. So, we've got a lot of fucking land to give away. I think the, the perfect people to give all this land to, for the most warriors, will be our lodge commanders. So, let's do it. My religion, my culture, high... No ruler and not my dynasty. Look at these guys. Pyros. 35. Genius. 31. Marshall. The amount of lands these guys are going to get is absolutely insane. Uh, Kingdom of the Netherlands are not really interested. I want to make the duchies within Ireland. Um, yeah, that would do. Uh, that would do. And that's all we've got for the time being. But to be honest, that should give away a lot of land just with those two duchies. Right, here you go. This one is yours, my friend. Enjoy. 
And then Dorotheos is outside of our court. I'm going to invite him because he's also a prodigy too. Jesus. Welcome. We might even want to marry him matrilineally to one of our dynasty members. Um, that really wouldn't hurt. Right, it's all by dynasty. And let's marry him off to, I guess, her. Try and cancel out this. Otherwise, even though she's dim, she's still got 15 martial. And I didn't educate her. That's fairly okay. Right, let's grant you a landed title then. Why not? Here you are. Uh, Ulster is yours. That would give away a shitload of land. There we are. Down to 62. Yikes. Um, and as the rest... We've got to accept we've got to make them all fucking out. This could take a while. So the only one, other one we can get is this one, which still won't give away too many things. So I'll have to manually dish out some titles here, unfortunately. Um, or specifically dish them out all to the same duke as we've done before. Right, you take that one then. 28 out of 11 is not too bad. So what we'll do then is, again, we'll look for a good leader. Good military commander. He'll do. He's also 28 as well. So he's got a high chance of actually being able to hold on to this bloody land. Give him carry. And then we'll just chuck him everything within the Duchy of Munster. So, all of these three here. Then when we actually get the title, we can just... Or when we get the Duchy, when we can usurp it at long last, we can just give it straight to this dude. Oh, fuck. I've got to include lower titles. Ah! Um, oh, fuck. Oh, that's annoying. So, the downside to that is we're now at 4,700 prestige, leaving us very, very little time to try and reorganize things and dish it out in a way that will... Oh, God, I've got to be so careful. If I make any more titles, we're going to hit a limit. Bear in mind, our time limit. We've, we've essentially got a time limit now. 20 prestige per month. I've got to be careful we don't do too much to increase our prestige as well. Um, right, okay. Uh, Ledger Bar seems to be completely bugged out. Bear in mind, that's been going for fucking ages right now. Um, yeah, I think that might be completely bugged out. That's okay. As long as nobody, as long as long I don't get it, no one can have it as well. I'm, I'm fine with that. Right, so now we've got to go tidy up this warp, which I guess when we win, will it give us another 100 prestige? Oh, Jesus. We are getting very close to hitting our end goal way too early here. I wasn't anticipating that. Um, to be honest, though, gives us a lot of fucking land. Should we just go ahead? It doesn't matter if we go over, obviously, from a massive war. And we'll say that any wars that we're in at the time, we can finish. So we could kind of scum that up a little bit as well and have... Uh, and, and set ourselves up. Cure just a huge amount of wars up. Obviously, the difficulty from that will be, can we win those many wars at the same time? But we could queue a shitload of amount of wars up. Oh, God, I don't know if I like that idea. All right, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I, we need to we need to limit ourselves a little bit, right? Otherwise, it's just going to be... We could be here forever just painting the map, and I don't see what the fun in that is, personally. I know a lot of people are from from what I've seen in the feedback in previous series don't enjoy that as well. So let's let's do it. Let's do it. That way also gives us an interesting twist to the end of the campaign, too, that we might end up fighting 50 wars simultaneously. Oh, God, that's actually going to push us ahead. Oh, fuck. Um... If we surrender this war out, that's it. We hit our, we hit our five thousand prestige limit. Um, piss. Okay, so any wars we want to do, we got to do it now. Bollocks. All right. Uh, Britannia. What have you got for me? Uh, we can holy war now though. Oh my god, we can holy war. Uh, Gloucester. What, what do we want to take? Take more. That gives us a lot of fucking land there. Oh, it gives us specifically one, two, three, four provinces. Of that. Yeah, Lancaster is all. Okay. Um. Cornwall. We want to take something in the center, right, don't we? Uh, what, what will give us some... Okay, they've got Somerset. That's it. What's, what's this area called? Bedford. Right. Let's go war on. We can't go for war for that, for whatever reason. Um, oh, because I guess we actually don't have the sea route. Um, okay. I think we will go in that case for Moray. No, no, no. Go for that one. Lorp, Lorp will. Um, gives us four provinces. And a bit of coastal land, too, to work with. So we're going to launch that one, and then we're also going to go towards Britain as well. Because like I said, the second we hit that, second we hit that prestige limit, we're done. So what do we want to go for? Um, we go for Meath, finish off Ireland. Um, go for the Isle of Man. We've got Moray, the Isles. The Isles would make a lot of sense. I like Moray, though, just because it gives us uh, a nice... We've got a real foot in the door into both Scotland and England there, haven't we? Let's go for Moray as well. So, surrender that one out. We're at our 5,000 prestige limit. So this is it. After this, we're going to see how well the Empire can fare without me without me helming it. Okay. Uh, get our people onto their ships. Fucking hell. This is, this, I might have bitten off more than I could do, especially if the revolt ends here. Because these are holy wars too, don't forget. So we could be against the entire Catholic world. I might have just doomed us, but let's see how it goes. All right. Um, first things first. Get you guys up there. Let's see if we can hit the rebellion. Hit the rebellion first? Hit actually Britain first. Where's Britain's capital? Down here in France. Let's hit Britain proper. 
Because if we defeat too much of the revolt, the revolt will come to an end. And that's not helpful. So let's go deal with Britain proper. And then after that, we'll see how we're looking. Um, so why can't we Why can't we pick those guys up? Oh, because we already had a shitload of people on there. Oh my god, they've sent troops over to us. That's not what you're supposed to do. Um, or we'll drop those because there's only a few hundred troops left in Sweden at that stage. Uh, right, okay. See, again, I don't want to be fighting the rebellion, but we don't really have much of a choice when they're about to siege our bloody capital down. Okay, fine. Fine, take them out. Good luck. This should be an easy battle because obviously they've got no morale as well. I don't want to accidentally defeat them and then reunify the round. So let's see how it goes here. Shit, this is so bad, isn't it? 10% war score already. Okay, that's fine. We want to keep them kind of balanced, I would say. Um, how are we looking with our troops down here? Should have picked up more troops. Actually, no, that's all right. That's all right. 12,000. Go for their capital. Get this to end immediately. Oh, my God. There are their armies as well. Big kill down here. Um, send these troops back up. Sorry, send these boats back up. We'll pick up the troops there. We'll pick up the troops in the Netherlands as well. So move you guys up. Then we'll send those guys over to Britannia, seeing as that's where our war goal is. We'll go for the war goal first. That way, if they do end up calling in Germany, France, everywhere else, and bloody Spain, everywhere, we can hopefully still repel them. Okay, 13%. Good, good, good stuff. Keep them balanced. Hold it down. Keep them balanced, but obviously deal with Britain first, because those ones will be our troublemakers. Right, okay, good shit, good shit. What is that? What have we got there? Handgunners, cool. Um, let's go for humble. Why not? Try and, try and be a nicer boy. Oh my god, that was dangerous. Wow, we outnumbered them by quite a lot. They still kicked our ass. Holy shit. 29%. Good stuff. Now let's just sit there and not get greedy anymore. Oh my god, they sent troops to us, which was obviously a massive fail. Good job. Okay. Last legendary journey. Oh, they're dead. Fucking thank god. I, again, I don't, I don't mind not getting the bloodline as long as no one else gets it. Otherwise, that makes me extremely angry. Kill them all. Right, let's get some good commanders on here. And again, this is another good reason to land so many good commanders is they're actually going to stick around and not be pruned by the game or anything like that. Um, sure, I'll offer my friendship to his son. That's fine. Don't see why we wouldn't. 21%, 38%. You know what? I feel like we might have this in the bag. Because we've we've kind of whittled both down to the extent that... Oh, wow. There we go. Jesus. These guys love sending us troops to kill, don't they? Appreciate it. Maybe we could bait out some of the other Catholic rounds to attack on capital too if it comes down to that. Hopefully it won't. But if it does, we probably have nothing to worry about here. So these guys are going to be our... Assault force. Let's get you guys up to. Let's start at the north. Again, deal with the war against Britain first. So we're going to Scotland. Deal with that first. It's only a couple of provinces. So this one is the easiest one. 47% against Britain. Oh god, I don't want to weaken them up too much. I think the re rebellion can win though. Fuck. And we're taking attrition. Bollocks. Um, well, we're only sieging down there. Granted, we're a siege leader. But we might as well have our guys try and deal with some of this attrition. How are we looking? We've got a lot of troops kicking around in hindsight. Big kill, Pyros, and. You. Well, let's finish that assault first. Hit that. Kill him dead. God, I hope we can. Fucking hell. Oh, that was close. 69%. Wow. Follow him over. Crush him dead. 68%. Okay, we've got to be very careful how we handle this. A horrible affliction. What the hell? A mysterious boat full of dead bodies landed at the coast of Kerry. A local official tried to investigate, but they started to suffer from a frightening epidemic that rapidly spread to others. Oh, no. Afflicted by the disease of piercing pain and violent madness, bleeding, bleeding profusely from all of their orifices as well as gaping skin lesions. Did we just start the Red Death? I don't think I've ever been the start of a... Oh my god, we did. Shit. We just found a boat full of people who have the plague. And now we spread it to the rest of the realm. Absolutely phenomenal. No social distancing going on there, apparently. Unbelievable. Alright, 82%. Um... I mean, you are our enemies. Has France joined the... No. Oh, I guess that's some... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. What the hell are you thinking? Yeah, let's send uh, 2,000 troops in to die. Perfect. We'll get them up to the coast, and then we'll drag them over to Britannia instead. Right. Uh, you guys can pick them up. I need to drop these boats, because this is so fucking expensive. Oh, red death. Shit. Okay, run, little one. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to start re-inheriting everything now. This is bad. Oh, France have joined the war against us now. Hang on. 97% against Britain. Come on. Come on. All we got to do is tidy that war up and we're good. Okay, go, 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 go. Tidy this one up. Student strategy. Fine, whatever. Okay, big kill. Ludwig. Froda. Okay, these guys up to here. Deal with Britain. Kick them out. France have joined the rebellion. Oh, they've joined both. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. At least we're going to get one of these. If not both. Good luck. This is going to be close. Because if Britain can siege anything, we, we're going to start losing war score again. Come on. Go for my court position. Oh, fuck. And we can't afford to lock ourselves up because we're the best commander at the camp siege. Shit. 
Oh, God, we're not going to start losing this already, are we? Yeah, France. Fucking France. Fucking Catholics. How are we supposed to stand up to this? This is absurd. Um, right, drag the guys back. Oh, my fucking God, we got France in the capital. Okay, yeah, we've, we've bitten off more than we can chew. We can't go to war against any... Ca I have a feeling the second we start the... The unfortunate truth is the second we start the fucking uh, time lapse, I have a feeling the Catholic rounds are just going to dogpile us. I have a feeling we're going to be annihilated by Catholicism and there's nothing we can do to stop it now. Shit. All right, go on. Reinforce. See if we can stop this shit. We've killed France. Was not expecting that. Okay, good shit. Let's go and stop France because they're the ones really being a thorn in my side right now. 60%. If we take the war goal, we could just get ticking war score and hide. Okay, good start. Good start. Um, We've got the disease in the capital this time as well, which didn't happen last time. We'll see. Oh, fuck. What if we just go for his capital again? What if we just try and gun down his capital and siege it? Because, look, they've only can siege two. Or alternatively, we just go for the war goal and try and bash it out. Okay. Um, brilliant idea, Melissa. I don't give a fuck, Melissa. Right, back to Moray. Eh? Let's just take the war goal. Just take the war goal. We're done. Okay, right. I sort it down. Shit, we're going to do with a few more troops. Uh, I'm just going to risk it. Fuck it. I'll find a core position. I don't give a shit. Right, go. Go. Excuse me. Why is my... Oh, right, there we are. I've got fucking caps lock on. Can't assault with caps lock on. That would be ridiculous. Right, there's one down. Um, where's his capital? Oh, we got a lot of troops in Ireland. Um, where's this guy? Oh, it's right there. Fucking go for it. Willing to take the risk. Court position. Join me. Could be appropriate during these absolute fucking end times we've got going on right now. Um, I'm just going to quickly dish out more right then. Uh, who are we looking for? Ragnar. You'll do. Join me. S send a gift. Join me, Ragnar. Okay. Um... The question is, how many troops has this guy got left? But anyway, France is still against us, and he's got 13,000 fucking troops. Jesus. Oh, good. Here we are. The fun and games begin. But anyway, we can't create the, the Empire level title unless we're at peace. So we could white piece him out and just make it. If we feel like it. Oh, there it is. The Red Death. Fan fucking tastic. Oh, God. Yeah, try something new. Feel amazing. You know what? We actually might survive it. Hang on. Um. Hunt in focus. Oh, shit. We're stressed as well, though, aren't we? You anus. As if we just smashed an army of, like, 11,000 there. Hang on. Get out of here. We fucking did. <laughs> Chase him down. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. Uh, where are they heading? More? Where, where, where the fuck were they heading? Where are you going? Uh, Fife. Follow him down. Why are we not gaining war score for this? Come on. We're annihilating them. Is it a different British revolt? I guess it must be. Um, a wife died of the red fever. Keep thinking about Melissa. She was the best of wives. Um, we'll never forget. Again, depressed and trying and um, potentially die. Okay. Thank God we did not gain and capable that. I cannot believe this is worth no war score. Fighting armies three times our size. You can fuck off with that. We are heal. The unstoppable man. Okay. I mean, this war is probably to a bitter end. I think I'm just going to surrender this one out. We give him 52 gold. Yeah. Take it. Take your 52 gold. Don't give a fuck about that. And there it is. The final size of the empire. It's a pretty sizable empire. It's not the borders I was looking for. But you know what? Again, we've got to put a limit on this somewhere. And I feel like just constantly... We could paint the entire freaking map. Let's be reasonable. We could paint the entire map. I'm not going to do that. Because that would be kind of nuts. Uh, but that is... It's pretty interesting nonetheless. So, let's set things up the best we can whilst we are still here in the game, ready to go. Let's make sure kids are being educated. Let's make sure succession is going to go smoothly. Ideally, if we could change that fucking Swedish succession law as well, that'd be fantastic because we're going to lose that. Um, oh, we're not, though, if we make an empire level title, are we? Right. Oh, God, that's a lot of kids. Jesus. What the heck? Where the fuck have all these kids come from? Good Lord. Okay. Um... We've got to dish out a lot of land too. And unfortunately, the truth of it is the more... I mean, until this plague's over, we're going to be dishing out a shitload of land. So I might as well... Let's get my religion, my culture, ruler, no. Great house, not mine. Sort by Marshall. We might as well wait for the plague to finish. So let's let that piss off first. It's going to take a while. Let that piss off first. I'll rearrange everything the best I can. And then we'll leave it to the AI to ruin everything. But firstly, let's do it. Form the Atlantean Empire. For a thousand prestige, we are now 
A slightly darker shade of blue Atlantis. Um, and does all that become... Oh, cool. Ah, oh, I should have made Ireland before I did that, so it would have become du jour. That's annoying. Oh, we can flip over the succession. Primogeniture? We could go elective. Elective generally makes for stabler empires because they only vote the people they like or the best candidate. So, you know what? I'm going to leave it elective. Fuck it. Um, this I would love to flip over to... What are we on? We're just on elective everything, right? Oh, but these have no du jour, so we could potentially split the realm. But this way, having Atlantis where it is guarantees that only our dynasty will ever succeed. So that's something. We'll keep the college. We'll keep the, the dynasty proper. And there we are. The final borders of Atlantis. What the hell's going on? The white army taking more land. So we'll dish out the last of this stuff when all of this is uh, disappears. There's no point in me giving out now, because obviously they'll just die and we'll re-inherit it. Case in fucking point right there. Well, for the most part, it's fucked off. Unfortunately, it's still in Ireland after all this time, despite the fact that was ground zero for it. So, in the end, we have Big Kill, the Siege Master, sat on the throne of Atlantis. His successor is the King of Sweden, uh, and his successor to everything else. So that keeps it in the family for at least a generation. We've got an incredibly stable round. We've got a shitload of cash. We've got a shitload of troops. I don't know if there's anything else I can do right now that will not actively gain us prestige. Um, I mean, it all looks pretty good to me. We can increase our noble obligations, but I don't think that's really necessary. Everything to me looks absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I'm happy to leave it here, leave it in the hands of the AI, and see just how long Atlantis fares. So... Let's give it a go. For the time being, thank you all for watching. Upcoming next is the time lapse. I'll give a I'll, I'll give a review of what's going on there. I'll put a timestamp up on screen if you want to skip over the time lapse and get straight to the final results. I'll set it to like five thousand percent speed and I'll leave it running for as long as I possibly can. What in the fuck am I even looking at here? Uh, where's my realm gone? What the hell has happened? Oh, it still exists? Oh, God. We should probably turn off observe mode, I guess. Actually, we need to find a character first. Um, Atlantis still exists. Somehow. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at it. I'm going to take a wild guess that they've done something to Catholicism. To make it more aggressive in this mod. Uh, because, of course, normally Catholicism in this and the starting dates is on the back foot. It's it's a much weaker religion. There's obviously Nobelian, the novelist faith, whatever that one's called again. Loads of various different things. But in this, yeah. I think that was a fair, I think that was a fair assessment. Jesus Christ. Literally, in this case. Catholicism is stronger in this than it is in the base game, and it's weaker starting in this than it is in the base game. Seekers conquested ever. It's just seeking Catholicism, basically. Wow. What the hell have they done to my realm, then? Let's take a look. We will load in as the dynasty's there, boys, and that's all that matters. Okay. Look at this character, though. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, so the dynasty not only survived, but they seem to be doing a pretty decent job. Um, all right, let's dive in. 267. 174070. So. Oh. <laughs> or not. Oh, because the final date has gone past. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Well, let's take a look around in observe mode. From where I've just loaded back in, we've lost nine years there, but that's not really much of a loss. Wow. Okay, let's see what we can work out. So. Atlantis uh, is currently under a quite a powerful ruler there, to be fair. Um. And it's what, and Ares, and they must still be holy warring where it's become opportune to do so. So they are now a suzerain to Britannia. So all that remains of the realm that we built after this many years is 
Atlantis, and then part of Norway and Sweden as well. Uh, everything else has been lost. Absolutely everything else has been lost. What happened over in Ireland then? Did it did it split? No. Uh, Emperor Ralph of Mal Mal Malura. Oh wow. Oh those guys took it. Okay. Um, the British people over in, for whatever reason, uh, the British people over in Siberia, uh, northern Finland, then northern Norway, obviously, and then the uh, Baltic states, have conquested? What is even going on there? Well, either way, let's take a look at the culture map. That might elucidate us a bit more. Uh, no, it absolutely has not. Atlantean culture is still very, very, very dominant. I imagine that's possibly something to do with the, the society that we built up. Um... That would make a lot of sense. I mean, it's it's crazy powerful in Scandinavia still. So, Germany is obviously conquested just far and wide here. Again, another Catholic nation. Um, wow, that's insane. 170,000 men. Good God. And then we've got these guys over here. Another Catholic realm. A British Catholic realm over there is, is very strange. Then we've got Britannia proper, uh, which has... They're Atlantean. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, no you. How strange. So, so Britain is Atlantean, and then these guys over here, despite the fact that they're the same dynasty, did you notice? Fitz Effa, um, and these guys are the same ones, but they're Atlantean, they're British. Oh, they must have flipped. Are you a French? Or, or whatever the hell that is supposed to be. Um, no, I don't know what that is. Friend, friend, uh, God knows. It doesn't matter. I don't even want to guess. Um, you flipped to Atlantean for some reason, but that's kind of impressive. Maybe if we left it another 100 years, they might start flipping the entire realm. Um, oh, but his heir is whatever that is as well. This is so strange. So Atlantean culture has really, really taken off. But the Atlantean Empire itself, we've still got... Our, our dynasty is still alive, still controls the empire, still has the college. But is only basically on the island of Atlantis. That's really, really tragic. Currently sieged by these guys. Oh, are they just about to like take everything? Atlantean Holy War 4. Oh, he's defending against Atlantis. That was brave. I can't believe that. Catholicism is... Uh, somehow they've made it more powerful than the base game, despite the fact it starts, like I said, on the back foot compared to... What the hell is the Reformed religion? Uh, oh, it's a Jewish heresy, right. Yeah, and then Sikh, of course, is absolutely... Uh, huh. Yeah, okay. So we've got the Northern Protectorate. Disgustingly powerful. Um, as it, this is the Northern Protectorate then. They are insane. So they've got all of this shit. They've got the entire east side of the map. Then we've got the Northern Protectorate that seems to have vassalized the entire empire. Look at the size of that fucking empire. Wow. That's absolutely insane. They've got more of Persia than the Persian Empire have. Or another, literally maps from, from this side of the map all the way up here. Oh, wait, well, that's not Wasteland. That's provinces. Okay. This is so confusing. Wow, what a complete mess. What a complete mess. And Iberia is an absolute complete fucking mess. Unbelievable. Well, let's take a look at the ledger then. See what we can uh, see what we can ascertain from this just complete state. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Right. So, moral authority. The strongest religion is Catholic. I mean, 800 by far. There's me saying that Sikhs stand a chance. They don't. Somehow, Catholicism is absurdly powerful in this mod. It's disgustingly powerful. Um... 76 moral authority versus obviously 100 for Catholic, and Catholic is like double the size. Hellenic, not doing too bad, despite the fact they control five provinces. Oh, no. Tragic. From our mighty empire down from five. So our realm size, what was it, 170 something, I think, when we left off, down to five there. Orthodox, despite the fact it is less than Hellenic, is obviously kind of low down the list. And that's it. I mean, the other religions aren't even worth mentioning because they have so few. You got a little bit of this one here, you got a little bit of Jain, you got a little bit of Jewish. Wow, holy shit. God knows what happened there then. That's that's absolutely insane. Um, you can see the largest round sizes here. So there you are. They've got the Kaiserina. So you've got Germany. Um, the two Dharmic Empires. And then Britannia there as well. Unbelievable. Serene Doge has apparently picked up a lot of shit. Who is that? Oh, Aquitaine? Wow. Complete mess. An absolute mess. We can't even load into the character unless I edit the, uh, the end date. But I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, simply because it will fuck up future series, but yeah, that's that's absolutely that's mad. That's completely insane. Um, thank you for watching. To be fair, the dynasty lives. And what happened to our? Hang on, let's take a look here. So we were playing as not Paris, Caroline the second, Caroline the first, Maximus Oinius, Orestus, big kill. There he is big kill the siege master. 
So since then, he died at 41 from what? Don't tell me it was severe fucking stress. Oh, get out of here. So big kill. Uh, and then it was Orestes. And then Oinius. Caroline. Caroline the second. Magdalene. And then, what the fuck are we now? Who's, whose kid is this then? Uh, maybe it's down Poist. No, Georgia. God knows where the line went at that stage. Somewhere very weird. Oh, there we are. Paris and then Telemachos. So the guy we left off on was like our guy's... What's that like great? So that's his great grandmother. Hang on. Grandmother. Uh, wait, no. That's his grandmother. So you're his great grandmother. We got great, great grandmother. Great, great grandfather. Great, great, great grandfather. Great, 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 great grandfather. All it took was like six generations and it all fell apart. Crazy. Well, that was a cool series. Um, yeah, this is... I mean, Catholicism is nuts. Absolutely insane. Please nerf Catholicism way too strong. Please nerf Seek. I mean, it's just a toss-up between those two. Unbelievable. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Next series, no idea. Literally have not got a plan in mind for it yet. So I'm going to do some research, see how things is looking out there. Tempted to go Game of Thrones. That's all I'll say for the time being. Thank you to Chris, Rodin, Derek, Alchemia, Slippy Nips, Fakuna Vasquez, Scott, Tom Terry 18, Gwen S, Peyton Denisar, Lucas, Nostrus, Vacuous Backers, Sorik, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon for their support at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. And a thank you as well to Shlomo, Gray, Blood for the Blood God, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Alex Bogard, William H, Nikki Sticks, Wesley C, Jackson P, Wilson Atef, Sam Kears, Bad Burrito, 316, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Donald, and everyone else as well. See you all next series.